Hey, welcome back again. This is Rick from Excel Gorilla. And today's video I make after seeing the blog post from Ken Pulse. And in his blog post, he's posing the question, how can I make sure that when I rank my categories, that I get a top five of items? And that all the other items are then called among the category others. Now, at the moment that the top five categories consist of four uh, unique categories, and then the fifth and the sixth one, just like in this case, are similar, so they are tied. In this case, we want to see six categories with their names, and then actually the other category uh, is number seven, because the top six then has the top five values. So how do we do that in Power Query? Let's have a look at that. We pull the data into Power Query by going to data from table slash range. So we have our data nicely in Power Query. And the only steps we have are the source and the columns have been recognized. Now, what we will start out with, uh, our challenge is of course to find the top five categories. So what I start out with is I'm going to go to group by. And I would like to group this data by amount. And the other, uh, the, the other column I can just leave here. Then I click OK. So now it means that there's no duplicates. Where in the previous screen, position five and six had a duplicate. By grouping it, it's now disappeared. And just to be sure, let's sort the column amount from biggest to smallest. What we can then do is add an index column in add column, index from one. You can now easily see that uh, the position number five is 33. And we just want to make sure that we find position number five. So we select five. Now why do I do this? Because the value that I want to make sure uh, we, we look at is the 33 here. And this 33 we're going to need later in this query. And let's call this tab instead of filtered row. Well, let's right click it, press rename, and call it top five value. So up until the value 33 for amount, all the categories should be shown. And everything that's smaller than 33 should actually be called category other. Now, to continue with this query, we'll have to use some of the advanced editor. So go to Home, Advanced Editor, and instead of continuing at this screen, I would actually like to continue with the data that I had in this step here. So that's what we started out with. And this one is called Change Time. So we go back here, click Advanced Editor, and we're going to add a comma here. And add a new line. I press tab, press base, and the base step is equal to the changed type on here. So select it, base is change type, and make sure that now in our screen we also see the step. Uh, oh no, we have to see the step base here. So what we did was we make sure we now get the, the view of the of the changed the change type step, and then we, we make it visible as well by adapting here. So don't forget your comma, otherwise it will not work. I press OK. Now, let's continue, because these are the amounts we have. And I would like to have a, a column to check whether my amount is smaller than, or uh, if it is bigger than or equal to, the value that we just saw in the top five value. And remember, it was a column amount, and it was the first value that's left here. So we're going to go back to the latest step, and we go to add a custom column, and we call this custom index for now. Uh, or, 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 or let's call this adjusted. Category. And the formula we will do is 
if the amount is bigger than or equal to, we're going to refer to this step before, top five value. And then we're referring to the column amount. You open your bracket, your curly brackets, and, and this time we're curious about the first value we find there. And a power query, that's always starting with an index of zero. We close the bracket. So if the amount is bigger than or equal to top five value, then I would like power query to say true, or with double quotes, true. And otherwise, I would like power query to say false. Cool. So what you see is I refer to the value here, which is 33. And the column here now says, True for all the values that are bigger or equal to 33 and false for the others. Now let's make this a Boolean value. True slash false. And now we're going to add another uh, column. And I will call this one final category. If or Instead of making a custom column, let's, let's do it differently, and let's just add a conditional column. And in this case, if the adjusted category is equal to true, then I would like Power Query to give the column category as a name. And otherwise, I would like it to be called other. Now, we only uh, need the columns custom and amount. And I would like custom to be first and amount to be second. Now, what we can do is we're going to remove all other columns, and the order is important. So if I first select custom, hold control, click amount, and do right click, remove other columns, you see that the custom column is in the first in the order and the amount second. And the only reason for that is because I clicked in the right order before I clicked remove other columns. And now there is one step left to do. We're just going to convert the column uh, custom to text. Oh, and one more step actually. Let's call this column category. Now, let's load this back to the Excel worksheet in the form of a pivot chart. And I actually should have loaded this to uh, let me just move this to sheet one. Perfect. Then I would like the categories to be here, the amount to be in the bottom. So, and what you can see is that we now have one, two, three, four, five, six columns that show the name of the category. And all the others are aggregated under the name other. And we have six because the top five amounts there is a tie in position 5 and 6. But if we would, for example, add 33 in position 7, we click right-click here and refresh the data, all of a sudden, let me just order this, you see that there is now an extra category. But if this was 32 and this one was 31, you can refresh your data and you see that we only have five columns that show the name. And the last column shows other. So th this is one way in which you can make sure that uh, you, you rank your data in Power Query and you account for the ties as well. Now, that was all for today. Make sure to check out my website, excelgorilla.com. Follow me on Twitter and check out my other videos on YouTube. See you in the next video.